hello all as we discussed in last video so in this video we are going to create one simple web application first and then we'll create a docker file for that web application using that docker file we'll create one docker image and then we'll try to push our docker image to container registry as well as artifact registry so i'll go to my cloud shell and i'll try to create one simple web application so i'll be copying the code from a Google documentation or from the Google for creating a simple web application so it's just like a five to six liner of code to print just a hello world okay so I'll go to my cloud shell now so let me open cloud shell here okay so first I'll create one directory here I'll just create directory my app okay I'll go to my app now and here I'll create first main.py for my flask application. So I'll be okay. I'll be creating very basic web application. So I have code here. So I'll simply copy this code which will print hello world. This is my application message. And I'll just paste this code here. I'll save this file. Just let me verify the content. Okay, so I have this application let me try to run this first and we'll see if our application is working so here it is running and let me verify yeah so it is printing the message hello world this is my application so this is very basic application we created now we'll create one docker image for this application using the docker file so the next step for us to create a docker file so always remember you have to create a docker file in your root directory so in this my app only i'll create one docker file just create a docker file okay now what we need to include in a docker file so for running our application what all steps are needed that as a generic steps we need to include in our a docker file so first thing we needed a python so in cloud shell it was already installed but still as a general step we need python to run a flask then we need to install flask that is the second step third step we need to create my app directory and inside that we put our code for creating simple web application and the last step is to run so first thing is python so how we can use a python image here so simply go and check the python image python docker image okay so from here you can pick any latest image or any available here so there will be multiple image okay so you could see the python 10 3.10 3.11 3.9 so what i will do i'll just use this 3.9 alpine okay so I'll copy this 3.9 Alpine. So here as per our syntax, YAML syntax, I'll write from Python, which image we are using 3.9 Alpine okay then we need to install flask using pip install flask so we need to run then i'll give a complete command pip install flask okay then i created a directory my app so i'll add that also here and inside my app we need to write a code so here i won't write i will copy the main.py which we are already having so i'll just copy main.py inside main.py in my container and name i want to give the same main.py so let me correct here inside my app folder and this will be my main.py now once that is done i executed python main.py so i have to execute that also in container so i'll just write cmd and as per the syntax i'll write it would be a python command and i'll give the command here 
inside my app folder file name will be main.py i'll close this double quote and i'll close this bracket okay so let me close it and our docker file is ready let me see the content here so yeah so we have now docker file as well as main.py now let me try a docker command here we will see if it is installed so i'll just type docker and enter yeah so we could see docker is installed because it is giving the available commands so let me try docker images ls so currently there are no images these are column names you can say but there is no data no images available so what we'll do we'll create one image now we'll build one image using this docker file we created and sample main.py so okay one more thing here so now this is going a very long here so to avoid this you can type ps1 dollar and now it's not giving that long path here so what i will do i'll just run a command now so first i'll need to create image so i'll write docker build and i need to tag it so hyphen t first we'll push it to container registry so i'll give tag as a gcr.io so which will be host name of your container registry i'll show you that then the syntax is your host name then your project name so my project name is you can see this project name tech capture hyphen demo or a project id you can say not a name for me it is same name as well as a project id but you have to put a project id then a name of the image so i'll just give test gcr okay and then i have to give tag so i can just give the tag for version or a release and the path where is my main.py and docker file are available in the same path so i'll just put the dot now i'll enter you could see now it is sending build context and it is doing all the steps we mentioned so from python docker ls yeah now you could see the images here so just a couple of minute ago created here now we can push this image to a container registry so how we can push so i'll just run docker push i will give this name and tag again a v01 and i'll run this it is pushing to container registry i'll try to open container registry here and we'll see if we can see the image in container registry yeah now you could see the test gcr image is here which we pushed now we'll see how we can push a same image to artifact registry so for artifact registry we already created one a repository in last video so here in artifact registry we created a repository test hyphen repo okay so okay and the syntax here it will take on your region as well so i'll show you how the syntax should be for pushing to the artifact registry so i'm not going much into theoretical details so you just write docker build so first we'll build with the tag of your artifact registry so docker build hyphen t and now we have to mention the region where we created repository so you this is us central one and hyphen docker so now your host name will be docker dot pkg dot dev for artifact registry for container registry 
it was gcr.io but here it will be pkg docker.pkg.dev and before that you have to append your region now i'll give the project name then a repo name so let me verify the repo name so it was a test repo i found test repo and image name i'll give artifact i'll just give art hyphen demo okay and tag again i'll just give v01 and we have files in the same directory so i'll put dot and i'll try to enter so i believe it should give error for permissions okay it build because i think i already execute executed in this project so if it is giving error you have to execute a gcloud auth configure docker dot pkg dot dev okay and here you have to give again a us central one US central one dot pkg dot dev is not supported registry okay I missed a docker here hyphen docker so it will create this entry in your config file whenever you are getting any permission error or authentication error for docker so once it is there you can just simply type yes and your issue will be resolved now let me see if i have docker image yeah so i have this image here let me now push this image simply remove last dot push okay it is preparing to push it is pushing Okay, push completed let me just check in my artifact registry is image is there so inside test repo I will verify yeah so you could see just now it is showing just now updated just now art demo which I created for artifact registry so we pushed image to the artifact registry as well so in this way we can create our a docker image and we'll push it to the container registry as well as artifact registry so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next video.